Welcome back to the Tiger Dream Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the MP44 KO version 2. This one actually has the silver legs versus the white legs, so it's a different look, a different aesthetic than the first go around of these. I did get this, it shows you. I'll have a link down below where you can get yours or pre order the other one. We're going to talk about the good, we're going to talk about the bad, we're going to talk about the great of this KO MP44 coming up. All right, so here is the box. It's one of the brown box special. One thing that shows he is doing that I kind of like, they are now taping this little piece right here, the Autobot symbol, so it doesn't get lost. So you've got it right there. This is what it looks like in the packaging. So uh, definitely not something you're gonna confuse for an original. And it's got all the accessories and everything in there. Let's get it out and have a look at it. Okay, so here he is out of the box. We're gonna talk about his accessories first and kind of get that out of the way. So he does have two additional heads like he always does. And uh, one's a kind of a beat up looking face. And there it is. And then another one is kind of a, so there's discussion of like how they're different, but the crest is smaller on the head. So we just got a couple of, of different faces there. Uh, let's let that get a little clearer. Yeah, it's not clear enough there. Uh, we do have the Starscream head and set up here for the Make Toys is what I use it for. So let's see real quick if you have the Make Toys and you just plug the head in, which the head's actually uh, different than the Masterpiece. They have this back piece additional just built into it. So uh, you have to swap this head and unscrew and rescrew just the one piece with the Masterpiece, but the KO gives you a whole bunch of these, this just connector piece. So you can actually just connect it onto there, like so. Now, if you use it as your Make Toys head, then it is a little floppity, flippity, but hey, it still works for your Make Toys. Uh, it, it's great, it's what I use on my Make Toys. And of course, he can use this part too. And then we've got the ax, which we'll, I guess we can show how to put that on. Uh, and then we have the two blast effects. Now, the thing about the blast effects are they actually both have LEDs inside. The original Masterpiece did not, and I absolutely love that. They plug in right here. They also plug into his backpack, jetpack that's included, but not a whole lot of accessories, and, and that's okay. Uh, I, I think just getting the figure for around 100 bucks is pretty awesome. And there you go, blast effects. Now see if we get a better look at these three heads and the differences between them the, with the lighting just right. Yeah, so there is, if you were to put on his beat up head and then there is his alternate head. I just like the one that comes on him. It's just fine to me, it gets the job done. So I'm happy with that. As for the last two accessories, uh, the question that I get a lot was, how do I get just a clean side piece? And really, you just snap this one off. like this and you have your clean side piece so the battle damage is is added not swapped out so uh that's just the way they do it that's what they did with the M mp and a lot of people that are getting the ko they didn't have the mp and well with this not really having true actual instructions to it uh that's kind of an issue so so to show everyone that piece is it's a bit helpful to see that right out of the box now the next thing is this gun here and the gun does actually look pretty good and uh let's go ahead and get it with a comparison to the actual mp44 gun so bringing in the mp44 behind it they're very similar in color the mp44 gun kind of has a bit of a glisten to it maybe it's got some speckling in the plastic this part here is not painted that part is painted right there aside from it though they're the same gun more or less so let's go ahead and get into some articulation some positives and negatives but the first negative with this guy, because there's going to be a few, but the first negative is he doesn't hold the gun as well as I would like. It took a bit of work, and I think it's more or less just the finger friction holding it in. It looks like it's in there good. I, I worked on it quite a bit, but the tab itself doesn't tab in well and hold it in place like, like the MP44. And, and I don't remember having this problem on the first one. Maybe it's just mileage may vary. It might just be that mine is like that and I, I didn't even mess with the other hand he doesn't ever hold it in his left hand he holds it in his right hand or at least on my shelf he does so anyway we can go ahead and get that out of his hand for now because I, I can 
kind of see it falling out, but uh, but still, I mean, I can get it to hold okay, but that was one of my biggest negatives so far. Now, looking at him, his head, he does get the side to side, uh, up and down, not much down, but quite a bit up. Like he can, he can be looking up at a Unicron or something like that, okay? So shoulder out to the 90, and then you get the butterfly in the shoulder, as you can see. He can hold a sword if he wanted to. That works. Okay, all the way around, uh, bicep swivel and double jointed elbow. Well, maybe it's not double jointed, single joint. Kind of forgot how long, it's been a while since I've messed with the MP44. Now he does have like a, a, a true opposable thumb right here. And then he's got all of his hands and he has the uh, three fingers and then the gun trigger finger on both hands and a little bit of movement back and forth with it. So quite a bit in the hands. You do have waist, <laughs> swivel, ab, crunch, nothing as extreme as you see with Magic Square. Uh, this is the the disappearing, uh, let's move that up just a bit, the disappearing hip flap, which is good. And I kind of love that they do that with nowadays. Let's. That's another issue with the KO. I mean, this is a small negative. For some reason, when you pull the leg down, it doesn't come with it automatically like the MP does. So uh, anyway, the leg can go uh, to the back. So you can go pretty good range right there. And then you do have uh, this thigh swivel and then you have the 90th knee. Okay, the knees, I haven't messed with them that much, but the knees are problematic on the MP and could possibly pro be problematic on this. So still just be careful. They say they fixed them. They say they put some die cast in there to make it better, but uh, I don't really know uh, that they've done that. Anyhow, I haven't had them break or any issues with mine just yet. So uh, getting down to the ankle, you get your ankle tilt and it feels nice and tight, nice and tight on that ankle tilt, uh, toe up, toe down, ratcheted. So kind of everything you would need for articulation, still there from MP44. Opening up his chest, you get to see his matrix compartment inside, uh, just like all of the other ones. And although that's not vac metalized chrome, it is shiny. Okay, and there it is. It's got a nice blue matrix to it. So, you know, that looks pretty good. And note that it stows in there very well. Once you close everything up, it closes well. Also, these doors kind of catch on the lip of my original MP44. And so it's nice and smooth and doesn't catch right here. I like that. So that's kind of an improvement that I think is an improvement right there. And then let's go ahead and get into a side-by-side -side with MP44 and then side-by-sides with the rest of them. All right, so here he is side-by-side -side with MP44. And looking at both of them, they both look pretty good. I mean, the same figure, more or less the same exact mold. And uh, one thing that you do notice, it does come with the sticker to go there, or it's actually an emblem. So there's the emblem sort of taped on there. Uh, I might come up with a more permanent solution down the road. So you just kind of get an idea. It's going to fall off. I don't, I just quickly taped it on there. Anyhow, looking at these side by side, you all, we all notice that this one goes with the silver. This one goes with the white. And then looking up at the top, you do have the heads look very similar, a little bit darker shades of both the blue and the gray. Down here, we have a little bit uh, darker shades of the lights on the top. Uh, you don't have, this is vac metalized, but for some reason, yeah, there it goes. This thing is just really shiny, even though it's not vac metalized, it's a shiny silver and it's really reflecting the light on the camera. Uh, another thing you're gonna notice is, is we do have a shiny coat of paint on this one no paint at all on this guy when it with the red and all that it's just bare plastic but we do have some paint right here in the forearms as to where over here it looks like just transparent red so i think a lot of us are used to having kind of the yellow or yellowish orange is that paint or is that transparent that might be transparent plastic also it's just orange transparent plastic okay and then going on down the lower legs are they're not painted either on the ko but on the official this is painted so i mean given a take for 100 bucks versus well msrp of 450 uh this is still a really great option it looks really good uh, looking at the back noticing the silver smokestacks over here and then the chrome right there and also you're going to notice where there's all the chrome bits in the backpack let's get that closer up 
all the chrome bits over here, they're just the same silver over here. This one does not have chrome grill at all for the alt mode. So we'll look at the alt mode here in a bit from the first one. So looking at that, uh, there are some pluses and minus some improvements and positives, negatives. But one of the biggest positives, if you look at the legs, look how the legs shift when I pick them up. So this guy is kind of floppy when you pick them up. You see all that? This guy, you pick him up and he's solid. It's like, how do you make the same mold and he's solid and this guy kind of flops around? Well, you can make them both look like they're flopping around, but this just feels more solid when you pick them up and move them around. This guy, although he never falls, it's just getting his legs just, I don't know. It just feels like there's not as tight of joints in there and there's more tight joints in this guy. All right, so here he is compared to all of the other options that are out there and that's a lot of shininess going on. We're gonna adjust it just a little bit. So looking at this, we are starting over here with Magic Square. Magic Square is a more bulky, uh, solid looking figure. Actually, Magic Square is redoing their theirs in their Legends to look more like this. So theirs looks a lot more like this in their Legends scale. I imagine they will bring that to Masterpiece eventually. But this guy's available right now for 100 bucks. Also, we've got the Transform Element, and let's get the gun out of the way there. Transform Element. Uh, this is the one that everybody at the time that MP44 came out said was actually better than MP4, looks better than MP44, operates better than MP4, and has a cleaner alt mode, is what people were saying, but there's the comparison side by side, which one do you like the most? And then we have MP10. MP10 was the reigning king at the time. Everybody wanted this thing. Uh, well, this is the shiny version. I, I don't have the uh, the plain one out of the box. But anyway, get an idea of which one you like the most. So here is the alt mode. Getting into the alt mode, this is the first version that matches the MP44 the most. But uh, to save time and to save uh, make this video not be a half hour long like all MP44 videos are. We're just, I'll link a transformation to you and we'll go from there. That thing fell out. So, one of the big differences is that in this one, uh, the first version had this metal, this chrome, and you're going to just have the same level of silver that you have with that. It's not a bad look, but I, I personally prefer the chrome. So I, I kind of like the first one better in alt mode because of the chrome. And so for the second one, I'll keep it in bot mode, use it for comparisons and stuff in the bot mode. Now also, uh, one of the issues we have with the first one that they say they fixed in the second one uh, is this right here doesn't really, as you can see, you're supposed to kind of push it down and clip it into place right there. It doesn't really hold into place right. So that was like one of the biggest issues right here with this mold. Uh, really, long short, it's not that big of a deal. And, and some of these things still keep popping out. It's not, you just gotta be a little careful with it. But uh, the, the thing about the official one was all this stuff clipped in real tight and it was actually really hard for me to get it out without scratching paint or anything like that. This one here, it doesn't clip in quite as tight so you can still make it look good but it wasn't as hard to transform and get panels unclipped and started. So there's pluses and minuses with all the good, bad, positives and negatives of the alt mode. I just don't see MP44, whether it be official or K or any of them, to be worthwhile flipping back and forth. I think you, with this, you pick one mode or the other and just keep it in it because the transformation is really complex. A lot of chances for breakage in both the KO and the official. So uh, I'm gonna keep one and one, one and the other. I'm not gonna be doing that transformation every uh, every few days. All right, so this has been my look at the KO MP44 of the Prime 3.0.2 KO, right? Because it's the 3.0 and it's the second one. And it's made by the same company that made the first one. They got another one coming and it's gonna have some battle damage and battle wear to it. A couple of negatives with the not holding the gun as well as I'd like and still make it work as you can see in many different ways, shapes and forms. And also the fact that it's lacking the paint, but that paint, of course, some people might think the fact that the blues and the reds aren't painted is good because you're not gonna scratch it all up like you did with the official MP44. Uh, the positives, it maintains all of the function of MP44, including the electronics and the transformation is the same and you have the same alt mode. You've got most of the accessories that are really key and important to it, uh, specifically that uh, Starscream head. 
I guess you could say the price point of $100 is a good point on this figure. Also, instead of the MSRP of $450 or even the cheaper ones that went for $328 of the official. So all around, if you want this mold right now, uh, you can pre-order it on ShowZ. I'll have links down below. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this KO. Tiger Hanger out.